morning students today we will discuss one of the gate 2014 question related to the conflict serializability and recoverable okay they have given a schedule s and which consists of four transaction transaction one transaction two transaction three transaction four where r of x is nothing but reading a data item x and w of x is writing on a data item x and the commit operation is to store the data permanently in the database okay whatever the modifications you are doing on the transaction so the modification will be permanently stored in the database okay so the main content of the question is that what they are asking is whether it is conflict serializable or not recoverable or not okay so first let me discuss what is recoverable schedule then we will come to the conflict serializability. We have solved one question already regarding the conflict serializability. If you does not refer that video, you please go through it and come to this video. Okay. So first let me discuss what is a recoverable schedule. Let's take that I have a schedule which consists of two transaction, transaction I and transaction J. Two transactions are there and transaction I is reading, sorry, is writing some data and that modification tj is reading we have a transaction transaction ti and transaction tj transaction ti i is writing the data and transaction tj is reading the data what the ti is modification now any commit operations are there first this transaction ti should commit then transaction tj should commit is it clear Transaction TJ is reading the modified content of the transaction TA. If the commit op operation sequence, the sequence of commit operations should be the transaction TA should commit first, then transaction TJ should commit. If this is the order of the commit operation, then we will say that it is a recoverable schedule. If the order is reverse, if transaction TJ is committing then transaction TA is coming. The order of commit operations is TJ and then TA. Then it is irrecoverable schedule or unrecoverable schedule. Okay. I hope you have understood what is a recoverable schedule. So we will check it now whether the given question is recoverable schedule or not. So what we have to find? We have to find the sequence of write read sequence we need to find in all the transactions. Now where the first write is happened, write of x is happened here. Anyone is reading that content after this write, this is also performing a write. So transaction ti is not, t1 is not reading. Transaction t2 is reading but it is reading the different data item, it is not reading the data item x. Transaction t3, oh sorry, transaction t4 is reading the data item x which is written. So this is the right read sequence is there okay if the right read sequence is there if it is recoverable schedule transaction t3 should commit then transaction t4 should commit yeah that is happening transaction t3 and transaction t4 the is they are in the proper commit sequence it is there okay so this up for this right read sequence i can say that it is recoverable schedule but we need to find any other sequence is there or not if you see that even here we have a write and this read is there okay write of x and read of x even in this case also transaction 1 is committing first then transaction t4 is committing so again the commit sequence is correct so till now it is okay then anywhere else we have a write read yeah write of y is there and read of y is there and what is the commit sequence first transaction t2 is committing then transaction t4 is committing even this right read sequence is also following the recoverable schedule any other right read sequence is there no not there because we have only three writes so we have checked all these things so now i can say that the given schedule is recoverable schedule the given schedule is recoverable schedule so once we have checked whether it is a recoverable schedule or not now we will check whether it is conflict serializable schedule or not in the last video also we have discussed how to construct the conflict serializability so now again let me discuss 
to check the conflict serializability we have to draw the precedence graph the precedence graph will consist of two things one is the nodes and edges so what are the nodes that all the transactions in the schedules will act as a nodes in the precedence graph so transaction 1 transaction 2 transaction 3 transaction 4 it is your wish how you are uh, representing the nodes but finally the edges should be there and that edges should be directed edges so we need to find if i want to find the edges i need to find the what are the conflict operations are happening the conflict operations if you see there is a write read write sequence is there read write which is on a same data item okay first we are starting with the sequence read of x so whether it is conflicting with any one or not we will check it read write it is a conflict what is the conflict it is saying transaction t2 to transaction t3 okay this is the conflict operation and any other conflict operation is there read write sequence so it is saying transaction t2 to transaction t1 okay this is a conflict operation transaction t2 to transaction t1 those who have not referred my earlier video let me discuss again this is a read write conflict what is the conflict r2 of x to w1 of x this should be the sequence of the serial schedule if you are finding the equivalent serial schedule so always the edge should be there between transaction t2 to transaction t1 and any other conflict is happening it is not conflicting with this one because it, the operations are related to same transaction t2 so it will never conflict this one it is a read read is not a conflict and this is on a different data item so we are done with this one so now we will check Next, see in, next, see in the sequence, next operation is write of x in transaction t3. So, we will check how many conflict operations we are finding with this operation. Write of x and write of x. It is again a conflict operation. So, we should have a edge from transaction t3 to transaction t1. Okay. And any other conflict? This is a write, but it is on a different data item and this is a read it is on a different data item so these two operations will not conflict with this operation what about this one yeah there is a write of x there is a read of x again it is a conflict this conflict says that transaction t3 to transaction t4 there should be an edge and this write and this read are acting on a two different data items x and y so they are not conflict operations so we are done with this operation also now we will check this operation because in the next sequence again anyway commit will not create any conflicts so write of x is there write y it is on two different data items it is not a conflict even it is also not a conflict write of x read of x okay which will say that transaction t1 to transaction t4 you should have an edge okay transaction t1 to transaction t4 there will be an edge and this one is not a conflict operation because both are acting on a two different data items. So we are done with this operation also. Then commit will never create any conflicts. Now write of y, read of y. It is a conflict. What it is saying? Transaction T2 to transaction T4. Okay. Transaction T2 to transaction T4. There will be an edge. Okay. Then it is not creating any problem read of z and these are read operations so it will not create any conflicts so even these two are finished now the next sequence we have read of x after that there is no other operations in the t1 t2 t3 so it will not create any conflict with the operations in the transaction t1 transaction t2 transaction t3 so i can say that we are done with the constructing of the precedence graph once we have constructed the precedence graph we need to find whether any loop is there or not or any cycle is there or not if there is a cycle in the precedence graph i can say that it is not a conflict serializable schedule if there is no cycle then i can say that it is a conflict serializable schedule let me discuss again if there is a cycle in the precedence graph 
then we can say that the given schedule is not conflict serializable. If there is no cycle, then the given schedule is conflict serializable schedule. Okay, so now we will find whether any cycle is there or not. Okay, now if you see that we don't have any cycles in this one. If you see this one transaction T2 to transaction 1, there is an edge. We will find whether any cycle is there. If you are seeing, if you are going like this, transaction T2 to transaction 1, we can go here and if there is an edge like this, then it is a cycle. If it is going like this and coming back, it is a cycle. But it is not going, it is going in the reverse direction. So this is not a cycle. If I see this way, if it is going after T4, it is not going to anyone. So even it is not a cycle. If you see transaction T1, if I go like this, I cannot go anywhere. So even it does not consist of any cycles. If you can clearly check it, there are no cycles in the given precedence graph. So I can say that the given one is conflict serializable schedule. Now using the topological order, we will find what is the sequence. The sequence will be, if you see that, first if I take the transaction T2, what will happen from transaction T2, if I go, I can go up to only transaction 4. From transaction 4, I cannot go any other transaction. So what I will do is that if I, I will take the first transaction T2, then from transaction T2, I will go to transaction T3. From transaction T3, I have a direct edge from transaction T1. Okay. Then from transaction T1, I will can go to transaction 4. This is a sequence which is conflict equivalent to the given schedule. Okay, so I can say that it is a conflict serializable schedule and also recoverable schedule. Thank you so much.